Welcome learners. The session is about hierarchical clustering and unsupervised machine learning approach. The session goes this way. First we will look at what it is and then its various categories and we will elaborate on how this clustering is made on a data set and then we'll move on for implementation in Python environment. Coming to hierarchical clustering, there are two basic categories. One is top down and another one is bottom up approach. Top down in the sense, we normally start from the huge data set, try to divide it into pieces based on some criteria. Basically the criteria is going to be the distance measure based on which the entire data set gets divided into n number of subunits which get subdivided and this process goes on until you reach a particular threshold and this approach is otherwise called as divisive approach. Coming to the other category we have bottom up approach which is otherwise called as agglomerative approach. The name agglomerative makes sense that we are going to find out the pair of experiences or the instances that could be put up together in a particular group and hence the model of clustering goes this way you will have individual data points and these data points will obviously be get clustered together or joined together if there is a possibility for merging as you do in a stepwise manner finally you will try to arrive at the complete data set now we will clearly look at how bottom up is going to happen it's a very simple technique so the data sets will exist as such in pieces now we'll try to find the nearest attributes or the characteristics meaning that the data points in space which is very nearer to each other the nearer we mean some logical inter collaboration according to the domain of interest so once it is identified let's say the two people one from here okay and then another from here is being identified to be very closest to each other they'll be put into another group okay so this is group one and this process will continue and we are trying to identify who else can be combined either to the existing group or to form a new group so now we identified that the next closest pair is this and this guy yes we do form a second group and then the process goes on and now this person is identified to get similar and get accustomed into this group now then we have identified that the last person can get accommodated to this group these two are being merged now now since only these two groups exist you can put in together merge into a single community so this is what we call as the bottom up approach where you start with single data points you assume the problem space to have characteristic for these persons this is student 1 student 2 student 3 and it goes on yes this could be student n so you are trying to mix up the people into groups so that based on some characteristic or another so the characteristic completely depends on the domain of interest if your interest is in geographical location persons from similar place may come and get closer together now how to combine that becomes the question of interest yes well, how do be among the six person how do you find which of these two are closer we only have the distance measure so we already have in our previous clustering slides we have seen that pick up the pair with the least dist distance measure okay so you apply any distance measure and pick up the pair with the least one assuming that they are closer to each other and group them into one entity then now to this identified group calculate the distance between this group and the other data points so how do we do let's say you have two data points arranged into single group okay how do you find how this is linked to this one okay that's where we have uh, whether to take this distance or this distance that's where we end up with several linkage techniques single complete and then average so we have to repeat these two steps one and two until all data points belong to a single cluster and hence we can draw 
a graph kind called dendrogram okay which can actually depict how these clusters are being formed in a stepwise manner so yes and how, what are the different distance measures it's common across all the clustering techniques one is occludian distance measure which means x minus the xi or xi minus xj we can take the whole squared you have to take a root for as many features as you have you have to have some you have to sum up all these things let's say you have two feature yi minus yj okay the whole squared have to take a root and that becomes your occludian distance measure and manhattan yes of course there is another distance measure called manhattan distance that also is preferable and the hamming distance yes hamming distance is whenever both are equal you can set it to uh, zero when it there is a difference you can set it to one manhattan is when you are taking absolute value rather than your square root and min kowalski is the generalized uh, metric so it is p th root of this so when you have xi minus xj the whole power p plus and so on okay that is min kowalski when you apply the value of p to 1 it becomes manhattan p to 2 becomes your occludian distance so that's how the distance is being uh, arrived at between the data points and now coming to how the linkages are being done okay first we'll look at single linkage where uh let's say you have two data points which gets combined into one cluster okay and how do we find okay from whether how the distance between this cluster now to this particular data point okay so you take the distance between this which is x you take the distance between this which is y okay and now the distance from this cluster to this particular data point is the minimum among these two that's what we call it a single linkage so uh, to elaborate on this assume you have two clusters cluster 1 and cluster 2 you have some data points distributed like this and you have some data points distributed like this you have to identify the two data points that is very closer to each other so the minimal distance okay that can make these two clusters to bring in together is what we call as the single linkage okay so in technique in uh, understandable format it is the minimum among the distance that you have between each and every individual item so that is what is this formula okay and it results in chaining you are trying to uh, bring in different clusters to each other coming to the complete linkage yes it is controversial to single linkage where we take the minimum value here we take the maximum value that's it same data two point two data points combined together into a cluster the distance between this and this okay assume this is x assume this is y it is now the maximum among these two okay <laughs> suppose this is data point a this is data point b which gets clustered into a group that is this notation this is data point c so the maximum among the distance can be taken up for complete so the third linkage is average okay which is taking the advantage of both the clusters now it is just the average which you are taking among the distances let's have a look at an example consider a data set having three features x1 x2 x3 this is data point 0 1 2 and so on up to 8 now the occludian distance measure is applied and hence the distance matrix arrived it shown to you assume uh, this point like 4 okay how is it being arrived it's between the data points 1 and 3 so applying occludian distance this is computed like this the distance between 3 and 1 is being calculated like this go to data points 3 and 1 it is 2 minus 2 the whole squared plus 0.3 Minus 0.3 the whole squared plus 4 minus 0 the whole squared and everything a root has to be applied and this becomes 0 this becomes 0 it is 4 minus 0 which is 4 the whole squared 16 again taking a root it is 4 that's how it is being arrived and hence uh, since this is uh, completely symmetric we have left out the upper half uh, let's move on to understand how the agglomerative clustering works on this data so this is the distance matrix we have arrived at. from this try to identify the minimal distance that exists among this distance point 
So it is 1 which exists between 0 and 1 meaning that 0 and 1 has to be put in into a single cluster. So now that to this newly formed cluster we need to identify the distance to other data points. So how to identify? We used single linkage and hence the minimum among 0 to other data point and 1 to other data point has to be taken. For example, to the data point 2. Okay, So it is like from 0 to 2 it is 2.04, from 1 to 2 it is 1.06, the minimum, minimum among that which is 1.06 is taken. Then for 5 let us say 0 to 5 it is 2, 1 to 5 it is 1, so the minimal which is 2 will be taken. And for 8 for our example between 0 and 1 it is 1.83 and 1.51 and hence it is fixed to be 1.51. So, with this newly formed cluster, you try to identify again the minimal distance which is 1.06. So, just apply it is between 0, 1 and 2 and this is it means that to that already formed cluster, we need to add this data point 2. Yes, we arrived at that and how to find out the distance matrix? Yes, the same procedure 0 0.1 to uh, 3 it is 4 and this 2 to 3 it is 4.42 and hence when you combine these two data points together it will be 4 the minimal amount that and one more so 0 0.1 to 7 it is 4.04 .04, and to 2, 2 to 7 it is 3.13 the minimal among that 3.13 is taken so to this again the same procedure applied now the distance minimal distance is between the new already formed cluster which is 0, 1, 2 and 2, 6. The procedure is applied and we arrive at this formula. Now you see the minimal is between 5 and 8. Keenly observe this is a new cluster that is going to form now not with the already existing cluster. 5 and 8 now forms a group okay trying to form a new cluster. So the same procedure gets applied and this is the distance matrix. So, how to find out between five, uh, 5 and 0 0.126? You have to identify how much. So, 5 and 0, 1, 2, 6, it is 2. And to 8 and 0, 1, 2, 6, it is 1.51. So, the minimal among that, which is 1.51, will be taken up. Okay, you can see here. The same way others needs to be applied. And now, among the data, 1.41 is the minimal value. And hence, 3 and 4 are the new cluster that is going to join. This is the third cluster that is going to be formed. 0, 1, 2, 6 is first, 5, 8 is second, third and fourth is the new cluster. So, to 3 and 4, when you try to find out the distance to other, so 3 and 4 to 0, 1, 2, 6. So, what happens? 0, 1, 2, 6 to 3 is 4 and 0, 1, 2, 6 to 4 is 3.46. When you mix up these two, uh, the minimal among that 3.16 will come in place. The same way to 7 if you see 3 comma 7 is 7.34 and then 4 comma 7 is 6.04 so the minimal 6.04 is taken. Now the minimal is 1.51 so which is among 0, 1, 2, 6 and 5, 8. What does it mean? The cluster 1 and cluster 2 needs to be combined Okay, and hence you have arrived at this. Finally, the newly formed cluster along with 3 comma 4 cluster to be combined and at last this is the single cluster which is having all the data points. So what happens to comprehend start with the distance matrix at every step try to find out the pair which is having the minimal distance apply any linkage to arrive at the next next uh, cluster output. Finally, Proceed with this finally uh, to arrive at a single group having all the data points. The same, let us try to have a look at in the Python. I have imported pandas numpy pyplot okay, and there exists sklearn.cluster sub package. To incl that includes all the clustering algorithm. I am importing agglomerative clustering. And then uh, we are reading a CSV file which is going to have the data values which we have taken as an example. Just when we print, we could observe that there exists three columns x1, x2, x3 and around nine data points ranging from 0 to 8. Now, look at this. This is what, what is this? It's a dendrogram. This dendrogram is actually a graphical way to represent how the clusters are being formed. 
the linkage is to the data which is represented by x the method that is used is single if you are using complete or average just change it you can see here how the clusters are being formed look at this example which we were discussing the first step is to form a cluster between 0 to 1 to that 2 has to be added to that 6 has to be added then followed by clustering between 5 and 8 just check whether it is the same between 0 to 1 the first cluster is being formed with this distance on to the y axis the distance measure is shown on to the x axis the data points is shown 0 point and cat 1 is being formed as the first cluster with the distance measure of 1 to that 2 is added with the distance measure of some around 1.0 something to that 6 is being added and as a next step 5,8 gets added and you may remember from here that the next combination is 3,4 and then 5,8 gets added like this. So 3,4 we do have and 5,8 and this previous cluster gets added and finally you would arrive at a single thing. So from this tendogram, lot of points you can observe, find out how this clusters are being formed and find out what is the minimal distance, what is the maximal distance, everything. And this color combination states how the clusters are being formed. Actually, three clusters are being made as of now. One is on blue, another one is on orange and this is on green color. Now, when you decide on number of clusters that you require, you can just draw a horizontal line on this datagram to fix in how many number of clusters are you in need of. Let's say if it is 3, okay. So, where to draw a line? It is uh, some, somewhere near around this uh, 1.5 to 1.75, okay. Here you have to draw a horizontal line like this, okay, so that Seventh data point alone will stand in one cluster, followed by three comma four in another cluster, rest of all cumulatively in another cluster. Meaning that till the square line above, just above this, okay, in between these two you have to draw a horizontal line. Then if you increase the number of clusters to four, okay, so you have to draw a line like this, okay, just by breaking this green line into two. Accordingly, you have to draw. The same is being done using a function, a cumulative clustering. It is a, pack, a class that is available, wherein you have to pass the number of clusters, which is 3. The affinity, which is used for calculating the distance, is Manhattan. Then again, you can use it to be Euclidean. Then the linkage that we are using is actually uh, single. You can use complete or average. And we are fitting the model to the data set X, which is having the data points, which we have shown in your example. Finally, it is being formed. You could see 0, 1, 2. Okay. And then 3 and 4 goes in another cluster. 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, and then 8 get into one cluster. You can see all the things over here. And 3 and 4 gets into another cluster. Only the data point 7 gets into third cluster. That's it. It's a simple but yet efficient hierarchical clustering method. Hope you understand. Thank you.